Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk about Bill Gates, the richest man on earth. But this video is not about that. This video is about how Bill Gates uses Western media to lie about Africa. So a couple of years ago I was wondering that why on the Western media there are always the same kind of articles about Africa and why do they always share the same information and the articles are always the same. It's always about how negative things are in Africa and they never share anything positive. So I did some research and I found out that many of the Western media outlets, they do not have anybody in Africa. So they all get their news pretty much from the same sources. And the major news source that they have is Bill Gates and Melinda Foundation. Before doing this video, I read dozens of articles about Africa on The Guardian. They were all funded and promoted by Bill Gates Foundation. And the message that they had were all the same. Africa is doing terribly and the West needs to get together. They need to give money or help to Africa or all the Africans are going to die. They are the most dramatic articles I've ever heard. So you're probably wondering why would the richest man do this? Why would he lie about Africa? And what is his point in doing this? Well, actually his grift was exposed a couple of weeks ago. And I will give you an example why he's doing this. They'll allow us to develop a plan for the world to globally eliminate COVID-19. To achieve this goal of global elimination, we need three things. The capacity to produce billions of vaccines, the funding to pay for them, and the systems to deliver them everywhere. The world's low and lower middle income countries are home to nearly half of the global population. Because they don't have the purchasing power of the wealthy countries, they risk not getting nearly enough doses. Unless we do better, they'll only be able to cover 14% of their people. So his point is, if we don't help poorer countries, they will not get vaccines. However, he's not doing this for the goodness of his heart. He doesn't care about poorer countries. And it was exposed that he has made hundreds of billions of dollars of COVID vaccines. The way it works is that his foundation, you know, they say that we want to help poorer countries get vaccines. So people like his friend Warren Buffett, they give him a lot of money. And then the foundation invested in hundreds of companies that were developing COVID vaccines. Now, here is a list. Now, on this list, there are companies that actually have developed COVID vaccines. So when it was announced that they have actually closed or they are producing the vaccines, well, the share prices goes up and he makes money. So that's one way of getting money. Now, the other way of getting money is that he set up a program with UN and other organizations where the vaccines would go through his organization. In the long run, it's very simple what he wants to do. He wants that all the funding that comes from the West, whatever it is, aid funding or development funding or whatever it is, he wants that money to go through his organization and he wants the piece of it. Basically, he wants to start colonizing you know, Africa. He wants to stand in the middle between Africa and the rest of the world. And that's what he has been doing all this time. He has received billions of dollars from organizations that are supposed to help poorer countries, but they give it to him. And he says that I'm going to go there and help them. And what he did to Namibia proves that he doesn't care about Africa. He doesn't care about Africans. Now I'm going to make another video about that. However, I hope you like this one. And uh, be careful when you're reading news about Africa online, because usually the people who are writing those articles, they have their own motives. Now, thank you very much for watching. See you on the next one.